So a client reached out wondering if I could do alterations on her daughter's prom dress. She said her daughter last minute decided to go to prom and so they found a dress last minute. They saw one of my videos where I suggested to go in store to find a dress and so they did that. They found a dress that she loved. It was highly discounted but it needed a little bit of work. So I was like, okay, come in, let's see what's going on. So um, they came in and this is what the dress looked like. Um, it wasn't zip, zipping up fully, but not only that, this was the reason why it was highly discounted. The threads were unraveling, the beading was coming off, and so, yeah, I needed to um, fix that. So, I was like, okay, I can definitely work on that. So, yeah, there's up close of the beading. A lot of the beading came off, but the dress did come with like a pack of beading. So, I was like, okay, I can use that, but I did actually get some more beading um, to kind of fill that. The zipper, this is the reason why the zipper wasn't closing all the way up. It was kind of, the teeth were coming off of the actual zipper. So that needed to be uh, replaced. So I did find a mint green zipper, which was slightly brighter than the dress. Um, to stop the unraveling, I used Fray Check or uh, Fray Block. I prefer Fray Block because it has a bit more strength than the fray check. So I, on all the threads that were unraveling, I used that so that the thread could stop unraveling. So I cleaned that up, snipped off all the threads uh, in preparation for me to replace the beading on uh, the dress. I had mentioned that the zipper that I had got was mint green. And this dress was, I would say a dusty mint green. And so um, my zipper was kind of a little brighter than the dress. So I kind of dyed it a little. And then, um, yeah, that's what I was going to work with. So I removed the zipper, the old zipper, and then went ahead and replaced um, the new zipper. I pinned it, and you can see it's kind of like off. But um, it had some backing, I would say some backing or some casing. Uh, to close up the zipper so you couldn't even see that the color was slightly off. So I went ahead, sewed the zipper in. I don't know why you guys are so scared of sewing in zippers. Practice, 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 but I don't mind sewing in zippers. The only thing I had to be conscious of is how close it was to the beading because again, if you sew on beading, it's going to break your needles. So once that was done, this is what the zipper looked like. Insert, inserted the zipper. You can't even tell that it was a different color. Um, so yeah, once that was done, I went ahead and tried to sew on the beading as evenly as I could. And my camera kept cut off. Like I thought I was recording and it wasn't. And so that process is, you won't be able to see it, but this is after I managed to put on um, as much of the beading as possible. That is the dress. It's finished. The zipper, I had put in the casing. And like I said, you, you can't even tell that the zipper was a different color other than the, the zip, <laughs> the zip itself. She came in for a final fitting. This is her in the dress. Absolutely gorgeous. This is her for her prom. I love it, love it, love it. Before, after, how did I do?